Hello, hi. Hello, Joe. Can you, can you hear me? Can you see me? Yes, I can see you. I can hear you clearly. How are you, Joe? Can't complain. That's good. Everything. Yeah, all good. It's almost 10 p.m. here in Brazil right now. And uh, uh. I'm a little bit exhausted. But I did not play. <laughs> <laughs> of course, yeah, it's, I, it's late. Yeah, because I have a productive day. So, and uh, tomorrow, uh, tomorrow is holiday here in Brazil. So. Oh, really? Yeah. What What's the uh, holiday for? It's, uh, man, I got me. <laughs> <laughs> it's a national one. It's a tribute to uh, you know, to a guy, to an important guy here in Brazil, but I cannot remember. remember. So I'm, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry for my poor you know, knowledge of my <laughs> country history, but <laughs> mm. I have a lot of mind. So, yeah. it's some, there are some holidays that I will never understand why we celebrate yeah. you know, <laughs> like they, President's <laughs> Day or some certain yeah. presidents of course they I understand always, yeah. they always come up with a new holiday so mm. it, 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 it's hard to, to keep them up so. mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I can't complain with the holidays though because it gives us time off right it's usually the benefit yeah. <laughs> and yeah. so I'm, I'm, always, yeah. I'm always very happy when there's a holiday especially <laughs> when it's near the weekend right we get longer weekends mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> do you have any special plans joe well i think i'll go to the beach mm -hmm. but i'm yeah but i'm getting ready for to, you know to, uh, uh the wedding mm -hmm. i days to i'll have to group some iran or try to get something done for the special occasion of my a good friend of mine is gonna tie the knot so uh -huh. <laughs> I need to be ready for that. Mm -hmm. Of course. To support but also to have fun and enjoy uh. <laughs> yeah <laughs> exactly. Yeah that's very very exciting Joe it's a new chapter in their lives right yes. I love your background it's a little bit different from the <laughs> From those that I used to see here. <laughs> <laughs> Usually a white background, I'm sure, Joe. Yeah. Or something. <laughs> I, I, I teach children uh, English, and so I use my background to be a little bit more exciting because I usually teach in the morning and the sun looks very nice here. And so right now it's evening for me. And so uh, it's not as bright, but still very fun to, to look at, yeah. <laughs> and so my kids, they love it when they see it. They yeah, they get yeah, excited with you. the colors. Gotcha. May I ask you your current location? And so I'm in Mexico right now, Joe. I'm from California in the United States, but I live here. Mexico, okay. I love this for Quito. <laughs> yes, I do speak Spanish. It's my first language, actually. <laughs> oh my gosh! And I am here trying to bragging about my little and poor Spanish, and you are like a native speaker. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so it's, it's a <laughs> <laughs> Do you speak Spanish? Did you learn Spanish, maybe? Un poquito, pero no mucho. You have I cannot, a good, a good I know, accent. I <laughs> oh, I, cannot, I cannot I cannot sustain like conversation like that, you know, in English in Spanish. Mm. I don't have these huge amounts of vocabulary yet. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. I, you, but you I definitely Portuguese. can understand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I speak Portuguese and there are a little of similarity similarity mm -hmm. between the languages. Mm -hmm. But I was giving my preference to, to English, you know, uh, for 
I don't know, over the past 10 years, probably. <laughs> I've been yeah. studying this quite a while and I try hard to master this language so that I can you know, speak fluently. Sure. And uh, I think kind of yeah. have a new challenge, you know, like to... <laughs> I, I I think of course, Joe. Your language is very good. You have a comfortable language with English. Or you feel you sound comfortable anyway. The way you speak, the way you carry yourself, it's almost natural, right? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. I feel so proud of myself. It means mm -hmm. that all my hard work paid off. <laughs> mm -hmm. Of course, yeah. It's always nice to be acknowledged for all the hard work, yes. <laughs> and and Joe, I'm curious, why are you learning English? Why am I learning English? Mm -hmm. So because I want to become a citizen of the world. <laughs> uh-huh, sure. That's a I valid... Be able, uh, yeah, I want to be able to communicate with a lot of people, you know, from different part of the world and, mm -hmm. and I think English is like this uh, this tool you know like to to communicate with them you know because uh, mm -hmm. you know uh, it's uh, English is, is an international language and a lot of people can speak it so mm -hmm. yeah it, it's not this barrier so mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, it, it's a language that unites everyone, right? Even from uh -huh. overseas, across seas, it's a language that tries to unite everyone. <laughs> and yeah, in, in business and a lot of stuff. So, yeah, mm -hmm. eventually, if I want to like, move abroad, you know, uh, I can definitely get by easily with my good English. So, yeah, that's why I'm here. Actually, I'm not here to learn English anymore because <laughs> uh, I consider myself like really good at English and I definitely could study by myself and try to improve it. But I am here on Cambridge because I want to, you know, try to make some friends, new friends, and have this experience to learn more, more things about uh, the other cultures and stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's just a language that you can do a little bit of exploring with, yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, over the past, I don't know, I've been in Cambly since 2020, and over the past two years and a half, probably. Uh, That's good. I feel like that I'm vicariously living through, you know, my tourist mm -hmm. life. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's nice, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I enjoy it too. I think it's a very nice way to connect with people from all around the world and it ought to be like a very natural native way to learn the language, right? It's yeah. really the best, I think, the best method for uh, language learners. And, yeah, and, because, and because of gambling, uh, I got the opportunity to, to meet a lot of, you know, uh, not only tourists, but, but also you know, people, because I, I have a YouTube channel where I share my classes on Cambridge there. Uh -huh. And I've been getting a lot of comments from, you know, subscribers. They they keep writing, oh my gosh, man, you have a good English. You are kind of uh, inspiration for me to try to communicate in English. And that's so mm -hmm. good. That's you know, good. Yeah, yeah you, you're an inspiration. You're the light <laughs> oh. <laughs> for some people. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah mm. some, some people, they need that motivation, right? That kind of encouragement. Mm -hmm. And so you are an outlet for that. And we, I cherish those kinds of people, right? That they can be an outlet or supportive in a way that makes you unique right you're you're showing off your skills but you're also learning in the in the process and that's yeah, the and best the, and before Cambly, i kind of had this misconception about you know foreigners especially american <laughs> you know I, I i i had i had this feeling of oh my gosh americans are so uppity they are not they don't like to 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 to, to chat or to chat or to speak mm -hmm. with people that have this little 
knowledge of English, but I was totally wrong. You know, I I, I found out I, I found that Americans are super cool. Actually, not not only America, Americans, but you know, mm-hmm. the tourists here they are so amazing. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's so good when you you when you kind of when you have this different perspective of things. You know, like you you can uh, get get rid of these prejudices that you mm-hmm. eventually have. No. Yeah, yeah, or stereotype. We call that a stereotype. Mm-hmm. Stereotype, yeah, that's the yeah. word that was tried. <laughs> yeah, of course, uh, Joe, a lot of people, they feel this negative energy with native speakers from America, mm-hmm. from UK, uh, anywhere, okay. English, Canada, for example, they think, oh, they don't want to speak with other people that know little of the language, right? Well, that's not necessarily true. You have to understand in America, United States specifically, there's a lot of immigrants, right? It's a country full of immigrants. And a lot of them are learning English as a second language as well. And so they understand. And, and if it's not them, then there are people that are actual native speakers that are seeing these people learning English as a second language. So they understand the struggle, the process. Yes. Mm-hmm. So exactly. I think generally mo- most of them are accepting. Most of them are friendly. You do have you do have the occasional uh, people that are a little bit strange, right? A little oh, bit off, yeah. off the walker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I had here on campus some bad experiences with some tutors, you know, but <laughs> it was just like the just you know not the, the majority of, of, of tourists here they are super super cool mm-hmm. super That's upbeat good. and yeah yes. they can easily accept my jokes because I love making jokes you know <laughs> as you as you can see I'm so energetic so yeah. <laughs> I, do, I do see that I, I sensed it right away Joe I said this guy has a lot of energy he's a bundle of joy <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, and, but, uh, yeah. You know, I I know that for you guys too, it is not like super easy sometimes to to have this communication communication with people that are like shy and do not speak well, and you have to try hard to you know to, to force them to talk to communicate. Mm-hmm. And uh, when I'm here, I try to do my best. Well, I try to to create this friendly environment to, to mm-hmm. make class something like a, a conversation with friends mm-hmm. that's good i'm i'm glad you're using it using Camly for the right reasons because yeah. you, you you mentioned something very good earlier joe you you mentioned that sometimes it's hard for us tutors or teachers because we are there's an expression, pulling teeth, right? Yeah, I was reading right there, right now, <laughs> <laughs> pulling teeth. Uh, mm-hmm. and, and those are students that where we sit with them, we talk with them, and we are literally trying to get something out of their mouth, right? Because they're not talking, they don't want to practice, and maybe, maybe their intentions for learning the English language is not uh, for the right reason, right? Maybe they're just going through the motion because they want it for a job opportunity right yeah and, yes. and that's fine you know i'm not one mm-hmm. to judge or tell yeah. someone that they should learn english a certain way but it makes it difficult as a teacher tutor when yes, someone exactly. is doing all the talking or if i'm pulling the teeth <laughs> yeah, pulling teeth. A, a conversation <laughs> is like back and forth right? you know mm. if, if you don't have this feedback from you know your listener you cannot have this good conversation so mm, but, absolutely oh my gosh time flies when we yes, are having Joe. 50, 15 <laughs> minutes is, is too short yes Joe. Oh, <laughs> now too quickly when you're having you fun. <laughs> <laughs> so but hopefully was, i'll be yeah, yeah we'll be better, I'll be able to schedule another conversation with you so that i can have more opportunity to 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 speak to practice my english as well as my spanish of Who knows? course, yeah. <laughs> a little bit of both. We can do half-half, yes, Joe. 
<laughs> but enjoy you. your night. Yeah, nice yeah. To, to meet you. I'll, I'll check it out. You soon. Oh. See you next. Per week. Perfect, Joe. Have a great Thank night. You. <laughs> you too. Bye.